and welcome to our gym slash basement. I'm gonna give you guys a full tour of the entire downstairs area of our home, including like the basement parts that you've never seen and the outside spaces and just kind of like a night view of exactly where we work out and all of the stuff that we use here. Goodness, so if that's something that you guys wanna see, then just keep watching. All right, so this is exactly where we usually come in through the house. So I'll show you guys. Our, so our garage door, like to come into our house, is actually glass, which is interesting. And then turning on the light, this is our garage. It's not that exciting. It fits like one and a half cars. It pretty much fits two cars if we pull in one on angle, but we only have one car. So this is our garage. Come on, Carl. Come on, Bug. Carl, I'm gonna leave you out there. Carl, come on. Come on, Bug. Come on, let's go inside. All right, so this is where we usually come into the house whenever we're coming home. Steps in right from the garage. So we have a walkout basement, as I will show you guys. And this is kind of like my little touch of fall decor. So I have a butter toffee candle. These Ashland candles are from Michael's. And then I've got this little Mickey with some candy corns in there that I promise I will not touch. Some people might, his name is Andre. And I got this in Disney World whenever we were there in September. And then here we just keep our keys in this little gold bowl. And then this is all from Ikea. So this is an Ikea piece that's actually made for entrances. And we had it in our condo as well, and I loved it. So we got it again. We got a pack system, like an angled pack system, and then a straight pack system, and it fit perfectly. I'd measured everything out. And then we had it all professionally painted dark gray, because Andre and I love dark gray. And then we just have this little mirror here from Urban Barn, which is like very, very industrial theme down here. So we keep our summer stuff in here. It's kind of turning into the fall months now and getting colder so we took out some of our jackets our winter-esque shoes are here and then I've put away sandals and things like that and then in these storage bins it's mostly like scarves mittens things like that and then back here I just have like this little bench where you can sit down put your boots on and then these bins hold our grocery shopping bags and then in here is the storage area slash furnace room and then coming around here is you can see Carl over there we actually have a extra washroom here that I don't think I've ever shared this with you guys so I figured that I would show you so we have a shower for guests and anyone that uses the gym and it's just an extra space for people to use and then we have these shelves with still nothing on them so they're just they're cute though they're like industrial looking and then same thing with the lamp and I've got this little Halloween candle burning from Bath and Body Works hot cocoa and scream how cute those are perfect for washrooms and like if you're having guests over and then I've got a diffuser from sage and then this from sage is liquid sunshine I love sage I think it's a Canadian company Amazing, amazing, amazing. And then it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. And then moving along, Carl's trying to figure out if something's happening. So moving along right into the gym, and this is the main space of the basement. It pretty much takes up the entire basement, as you guys can see. We had full, full size mirrors installed all the way down to the end there. And then that back wall is actually tile. It's not wood. I'll show it to you guys close up once we get over there. But right in the corner of the room here, I have this Bluetooth speaker. It's by Happy Plug, and I love it. You can you can actually <laughs> you can actually change the facing on them. You can pop it off. So I got the marble one, and the reason I have this is it's for the sound on my Peloton bike. I love my Peloton bike. This second bike, I don't even use it at this point because I had that one first, and then I got a Peloton bike. Andre got it for me for Christmas. I love it. I love it. I love it. My cleats actually stay attached to the pedals. I don't know if there's any other biker spinners that do the same thing but my cleats are so tight that I actually just leave them attached and then I've got my weights back here because you can actually do arms while you're on this thing and so that screen basically turns on you can stream your your workout live so I'll usually do that as a pretty good warm-up and the sound I put it into the happy plug just to make it louder in here and then like I said I don't use this bike I'm probably gonna end up selling it or if Andre wants to join me which he never has and then we have our dumbbells here on a full dumbbell rack so we have 20 to 70 pounds here, and then I've got my kettlebells from On It. I'll link everything that I can down below, but how cute are these? Love, 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 love. This, this one, like I can't even lift it, but they're so cool looking, and Andre uses them all the time. So we used to just use our power blocks in our condo, and I have to say it was a huge goal of ours to have a full scale gym in our basement because we used to just work out in our condo, a thousand square foot condo with these weights and we would move our dining room table, our living room table underneath our dining room table because it was on wheels so that we could work out. And it was possible, but we always had a goal of just having like a huge workout space to both be able to do workout together. Can you see guys see him? He's insane, honestly. Dude, like what are you even doing? <laughs> oh my 
gosh. So this is our, this is our main workout space here. But like I said, we used to use the power blocks, huge goal to just have dumbbells that we could grab and go, but great option for saving space, power blocks. And then this are, these are the dumbbells that I mostly use. So I got this little dumbbell tree, tens, 12 and a half, 15s. And then this barbell is for me because the the bar is actually by beach body and it doesn't weigh anything or barely anything and then the plates are what actually so i have two 10 pounds and then fives on the ends so four 10 pounds it's heavy but it's nowhere near as heavy as this sucker and this like i'll, I'll be honest i can just do the bar like i'm not that strong in terms of squats and stuff like that so this is more so for Andre, he'll put all the plates on and we really had this theme of like yellow and black it all stemmed from i have this insanity agility ladder over there that that was like the inspiration but really once I saw this guy the little monkey bar thing which I ended up loving because it really helped me work on my pull-ups because I was able to like grab both sides anyways I thought it was so cool so I just thought we need to do like yellow and black as the theme so I ended up getting bumper plates like the cool looking I think I think those were actually more because they're like Olympic quality or something, but they were colored, which is all I really understood. And then the, the safety guards were yellow too. I was like, this is so cool. And then I got a TRX to match and then some little safety clips. Like I'm totally nerding out right now, but I feel like some of you will understand. So these are actually called cross boxes and you just build them yourself. So we got two and a half cross boxes. So a full cross box here to be able to do uh, squats and legs. And then I just roll the bench, the second bench under there. And then the middle is really for abs and extracurriculars, I guess. So I have my ab straps here. You can uh, clip the TRX on one of those clips. And then I down there, I've got an attachment to the battle ropes. So that's really like how, I just thought it was so smart and so well laid out and then up here and then all of these are actually chin up bars as well as the monkey bars obviously and then here is the chest press area that that is 100 percent for andre i'm not even gonna pretend that i'm that cool and then i've got my mini mats here for like ab work and stuff like that and then in the corner back here i feel like i kind of skipped this this is our water cooler which honestly i love it it's from costco and you don't see the water thing it's actually they go under there so i thought that was really clean and really cute and then andre's got some of his supplements so this is the wall it's like it's not quite wood, it's like a tile. And I actually wanna stamp like some industrial motivational letters on there, but make it look really industrial looking. I have a vision, kind of similar to the vibes of this little piece down here. Carl is convinced that there's something exciting going on. There's another door to go out to the three season room there. And then here I installed some little climbing guys to hold equipment. So this is the ladder that everything was kind of stemmed from. I just, I loved it. And so this unit, which was one of the first pieces I got for the gym, is from Artemano. And I love the, the stamps, like the lettering stamps. That's what I'm talking about that I would love to do. So we have our Sonos here. That's the speaker system that we have in our house. So that's a Sonos amp um, DVD player because I used to use DVDs to work out. Now I just use the Apple TV that's under there as well. And I stream my workouts all to there on Beachbody On Demand. And that's basically what I do. That's why Andre and I just need like more so of a space to be able to work out. Usually it's limited equipment. So right now what I'm doing is I'm doing a workout that I cannot, I'm not allowed to talk about. I'm in a test group and we're basically working out the program. I'm a guinea pig to this thing. And when it launches, you guys will have access to it as of December. And I'm going to start it with everyone in January and all my clients, but I'm going through it. And this is the only piece of equipment that I'm using. And I'm telling you, I know it looks all friendly and stuff. It's not. It's a torture device, 20 minutes, and I'm like dead to the world. So if you guys follow on Instagram, you might've seen me using it, but that's why that's there. And this is just a big jump mat that I use as well. And I've kept like a couple of shoes under there. I have all of my old workout DVDs in here, but now I just stream like all of this in one spot on Beachbody On Demand. So all those programs are available. Um, Andre usually uses some wireless headphones. He has Bose headphones and he likes to do that. And then I keep a couple of running shoes under there. So that's this section. Um, this is more so for Andre, but he uses a rebounder ever since we went to see Tony Robbins. He's like obsessed with it. So in between his workout kind of sequences, I guess he goes on there, which is kind of cool. And I will take you guys outside. Actually, I'll take you guys outside now. So well, Carl wants to go, so I'll show you guys. I already did a outside house tour. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. But I figured it'd be cool to show like the outside vibes. It's actually pretty chilly out here, but it's cozy AF. So got like a little tiki guy, got our furniture. 
it's all screened in. Her pool's back there, you can see the furniture. And then I hung all these lights. Again, I have a full video explaining like how I completely transformed this room. And then we have a mantle with our outside lights and then all these little hanging things and then the banana leaf pillows. And I just lit some candles. So I've got the, I think this one is like a balsam fir one, but it's called like forest something. May the forest be with us, how cute. And then I've got some little cute pumpkins love them i love the pumpkins and we've got our outside speaker and that's pretty much it so this is our outside space and that just walks right out from the gym come on carl Do, did you really have to go back there he's he's stuck behind that couch i'm not even kidding carl you're like a cockroach you can fit into tiny spaces you got to back right back your hiney right on out of there yep you can do it oh my lanta good job bud come on let's go come on you little weirdo come on so then coming back in through that door, like I said, there's another door that leads to the outside. Um, this just goes right upstairs. He knows he's on camera. Do your pets do this? You're such an attention whore. Okay, so this leads right up to the main space. And so these kind of climbing guys were something that we've always wanted in our gym. Like ever since we built the house, we just thought, okay, we need to have like these climbing dudes in the house. So my dad actually put them up for me. So we got these like kind of, I don't know, like these huge like hooks, I guess you call them. And the, the climbing guys all affixed to them. So we have a couple silver ones and then mostly, um, I don't know what you'd call them, like copper. So we have the stone wall that it carries all the way up through our house. So I'll do a full house tour for you guys. If you wanna see it, I'll do an updated one. Um, and then here, I have these benches, same like in industrial, like factory style kind of look. And then they actually hold extra equipment, mats, things like that. So I have two of those. And then this is just like a rolly kind of box, which I keep, these are the extra. So that stepper that I showed you actually goes higher, which is insane. I'm, I'm yet to move up to that. So those are for that. Um, Sweet Sweat, I talked about in my spa day routine. I love it just for getting back on track and everything. So these are the bands for Sweet Sweat that you kind of wrap around your tummy. And then my peach bands, which I love. I'll link all of this down below for you guys. And then I just got this wheel, a yoga wheel. I don't know if you guys ever heard that's great for flexibility. I can link that down below as well. And then just jump mats, extra yoga mats, and then rumble rollers. So that's this kind of little space. What we're thinking about doing is getting the Peloton tread, like the new one, and putting it here or putting it here and moving the bike there and then selling that second bike. So we might have an updated tour for you guys. So this is basically like the main space to give you guys an idea of everything. Hopefully I went through that like in detail enough for everyone. Um, you guys always ask me about like where we get our carpet and things like that. I don't really have an answer. This is a really like, this is just like a really tight knit industrial style. I keep saying the word industrial, but it is. Um, it was not expensive. It was bang for buck. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, You're so uh, weird. Uh, uh. Oh my goodness, you guys are seeing all the shades of Carl today. You wanna to play? I know, Buck, I know, I know, I know. I'm so sorry, you guys, this is like, I know, but everyone will just be like, he's so cute, he's crazy. Carl's a Morky, by the way. He's half Yorkie, half Maltese. Okay, Carl, this isn't your video. We're gonna do a Carl's, a day in the life of Carl routine, but this is not it, Buck. You're such a attention, unbelievable. I can't with you. Okay, so this is pretty much the entire tour of everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you enjoyed it, let's flip this around so I can actually talk to you guys. If you guys enjoyed the gym tour, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys do wanna see more tours, I'm planning on doing a full kitchen tour and a full house tour. And I did do a beauty tour and a couple other tours of our house. And I know that you guys love that. And you guys know love knowing where I got all of the decor and where everything is from. So if you guys do have any questions or any other spots that you want to see in the house, comment it down below. I will link everything down below as well as the other videos that I mentioned in the description. And if you guys aren't already subscribed, um, hashtag duh, where have you been? Make sure that you subscribe, join the fam, turn the bell on for notifications so that you know when a new video goes live. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye dudes.